Good morning friends, how are you? Today we are at my mom's house and it's a beautiful sunny day and I wanted to bring you guys along. If you, I know that I have a few new faces here on my channel, so hi, welcome. I'm so happy that you decided to stick around. And um, if you are new here, you don't know this, but my mom has this really beautiful white stone house, like typical countryside here in Spain and we love being here. We get to be outside, we get to be in the garden, we like to play with her flowers and her trees and then I did have a very special video from her garden where we had our um, gender reveal, like our baby gender reveal with Hector. And if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you go watch it. It's a super adorable vlog and uh, yeah, it's just one of my favorite, favorite videos. So if you want to get a feel for like who we are, what we do, what kind of content I make and what kind of day in the lives I do, go watch that video. It's a very good one. One of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about is something that I was now sitting in the garden having a coffee with my grandmother talking about and I have had many feelings about being pregnant and growing our family and just my experience overall having babies and I have to say that I'm one of those weird <laughs> people who loves to be pregnant and I feel like I'm the most happy either when I am growing a baby or when I'm uh, like with my newborn or trying to conceive. Those, those moments are like my favorites. Um, but I do enjoy every aspect of motherhood, but being pregnant also in Spain was something a little bit stressful because I'm originally from Sweden. So I could talk about that in a different video, but, but today I just wanted to like address and talk about what you do when, when all you want is to have more babies and you, you can't basically, not because we are not able physically, but for other reasons, like the fact that the economy is very limited at the moment. Our income is not enough to support a growing family as of right now. And it's quite hard. And the other day I was saying goodbye to a few baby items that I have very dear to my heart. Like the, there was a play mat that both Natalie and Hector were using when they were newborns and babies. And I had to get rid of that and it just broke my heart to be honest and I know that I'm not the only one feeling that kind of feelings but it's something that is hard to explain um, to a guy <laughs> for example like explaining to Caesar why I'm crying throwing away a little um, like toy that they have had when he's like well if it doesn't if it's not of value anymore to them then why should we keep it and I'm all the time in my mind thinking that yeah but maybe one day, maybe in the future, I could have one more baby. If God wants, <laughs> if God's willing to. Oh, oh, oh. What did you find, Sanita? Oh, oh, oh. What did you find, Senor? Hmm? Are you not playing with no, your toys? Wow! Oh. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you a happy girl being at grandma's house? <laughs> what did you get? Can you show us? <laughs> He's climbing everything at the moment. Yeah, that's all he wants to do. Climb, climb, climb. And you too. Ooh, you're so beautiful with your makeup today, Javier. Oh, such a big girl. Why did you want to put makeup on today? Because mommy had makeup on today, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Hector is having a nap and I'm just standing here at the window looking out at their little garden and what they are, what they call it work in progress they are redoing their garden but they have their trees here they have a lime tree a lemon tree and an orange tree that they have brought from a previous house that they lived in 
So they have planted them here in the garden, hoping that they are gonna give a fruit this year. I can see a little yellow lemon on that tree. So yes, some fruit we're gonna have, we shall see. And I'm also watching this cute little arrangement that Natalie brought from the rock today. It's so adorable. She loves to pick flowers and they they just suit the window here I feel like and it's giving me Easter vibes. I'm gonna share with you their new Easter baskets later that my mom actually made for them and they are so cute. You guys, you're gonna die. I'm also looking at my little potted plant here. My grandma, she planted a, what it's called? Tomato. <laughs> she said, I did not expect it to grow, but here it is. And they look just like mine did last, last year around this time. And mine got really big, so I'm hoping they're gonna start to grow. And I'm just standing here wishing that one day I'm gonna have a kitchen window and a garden to look out <laughs> on when I'm cooking and potting around in my home. It's my dream. No, no. <laughs> We're gonna pick flowers, but we can go here. Mira, let's go inside of the. Yeah. <laughs> inside here. Inside here, yes. Yeah. Maybe we can find some flowers there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just had dinner, and this is a luxury for me. I... Yes, of course. I uh, never get a chance to go outside in the evening and, <laughs> and it's such a beautiful evening and it's a lovely day today. We're just taking the opportunity to go outside and oh, I'm just so happy to be outside. Yeah, somebody lives there. Uh -huh. Mira, here you have flowers. You can take some yellow flowers if you want. Hmm? They are pretty. This one is pretty, no? And the white ones. Look, you can get a really nice bouquet if you want. Maybe we can surprise more and more and more Moranita. Mm -hmm. This house that you see there in the corner, I think that house is for sale. And we're talking to my mom today that she thinks that we should try and get a place more near to where they live. And they were thinking about that oh, house for us. Dark. It's cute, but I think it might be a little bit too small. Está dicho, cógeme, cógeme. Los flores? Sí. The I flowers are telling you to take them? Yeah. Oh, maybe. It's Porque fresh outside. Vivir but... conmigo. Está dicho que sí. Yeah. Es muy okay. Natalie has her pajamas on. She already had her <laughs> shower and everything, but we just wanted to go outside before the sun goes down. Mm hmm. Yes, we never get a chance to go out, just you and me. A ver, palito. Okay, there you go. <laughs> are you ready to do some planting, darling? Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Today we are, well, it's the next day now, it's Sunday. And our plans for this morning is that we are going to plant some strawberries. Are you going to help, mommy? Aquí? Yeah, well, no, but we have everything here that we need. So we have our strawberries, yes, and the pots that we're gonna put them in. Look, you have to separate them. Yes, yeah. two. Can you separate them? Okay. Shake it. So they so don't too long. It ain't so short. Do you want me to do it? Oh. Muy bien. Okay. Stell them here. Okay. Put them on the ground. On the ground. On the ground. <laughs> on the ground. Okay. And I'm Ow. gonna. Oi. And I'm gonna give you what you need. It's so out. <laughs> Did you hurt yourself? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Una espina. Yeah, me. can I see? Okay, the new number of the well, no. Do you want to have the gloves then? Mm -hmm. This is for that one. Wrong hand. 
She loves doing these things. <laughs> I love to do these things with her. So we have our two little strawberries here. Of course I am. Um, she loves doing everything gardening with me. So we have planted in each one of them and they will be taking care of them while we go home for the week and we shall see if something has happened. <laughs> yeah, uh, until next time we come. But I think with some sun, some water, it's gonna be fine. Are you gonna record again? Fluffy. I'm just checking so I don't have food in my teeth but we have uh, loved our time at grandma's house Caesar just came to pick us up and we had dinner in McDonald's and I'm so happy <laughs> I've been craving McDonald's for some time and uh, I, I was just like wanting to wrap things up and continue talk about what I started initially in the vlog and I thought, why not have Caesar here? Uh, something that many women feel is called baby fever. Do you know what is a baby fever? Baby fever. Yeah. <laughs> que significa baby fever? Baby fever. Baby fever significa que un bebé tiene fiebre. Ah, de qué más allá? Well, yes, Natalie. But when a woman have baby fever, what does that mean? No, I love you. You're so cute. No, see, that means that the woman is like, oh, I want one more child. Like, I'm ready to have another baby. I have baby fever. They look at the baby and they think, oh, I want one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, and it's quite evident for me, at least, that that happens in various stages after having your baby. Like, for example, when you start to wean them off of breastfeeding, when you start to feel like they're growing up, they're changing, maybe they're sleeping through the night and you're like, oh, it would be nice to have a newborn again or something like that. And I had that feeling that so when, when I was throwing away one of their old baby toys that they both were using, the, the mat, when they learned how to go from like stomach to back, back to stomach, you know which one I mean? Yeah. I had to throw that away because of it was just old and nobody was using it anymore and I was throwing it away with Hector in the in the um, stroller and I was just like so sad to throw it away and I was feeling like oh but maybe maybe one day we're gonna have one more even if we were gonna have one more that thing would not be useful but it was so painful to throw it away and I'm like saving every little thing I'm saving every clothing item I have I'm like neatly putting it in boxes like with that small smidges of hope that maybe one day we would have one more baby and I know that it's not realistic but the baby fever is real it's something like something so strong in the female system I think it's not just some cruises <laughs> not something we just say uh, but yeah I thought I would wrap today's vlog up with just 
mention of that. Have you experienced baby fever? No. no. Yes. <laughs> Natalie, you have? Yeah. Ah, okay. But Caesar, do you I like babies? Virginia. Yes, of course. You like babies? Yes, of course. But they intimidate you a little bit, no? No. No? They are expensive. They are ex no, they're not so expensive. <laughs> babies actually are not expensive because they don't use things. But um, but I know that your favorite moment with your kids, at least, if if you correct me if I'm wrong. Now it's getting dark. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> That's not helping. But correct me if I'm wrong. The new the newborn stage for you is not so so fun because you feel like no. he's like scared of dropping them when they <laughs> things like that. Um, but you like it more when they start to talk and say, claro, when Papa. They say Papa. <laughs> That's when you start to feel like, okay, yes, I like you. <laughs> no? Yes. A little bit. Yes. Okay, Hector is calling. Hey, that was a really nice team. Thank you for watching today, friends. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and like and share the video and all of that things. But uh, yeah, I love you so much and I see you very soon. Bye.